Hey, good Wednesday morning to you. Great to see you today. Here having my coffee as usual. Looks like you're having yours too. Hey, good morning, good morning. Here this morning up and uh, getting prepared for tonight's uh, midweek service at the First Pentecostal Church of Rouge. Yesterday, I had a conversation with my good friend in Florida, William Bledsoe, and we were talking about God, and, and he told me, you can hear from God. You can hear the voice of God if you listen, because God is speaking. How do you do that? How do you hear the voice of God? Because God is speaking. Well, first off, you've got to be born again. You've got to be in a relationship with God. Um, I'm talking about hearing God on a consistent basis. Um, you've got to be uh, in, in your soul has got to be well with the Lord. And, and also in hearing from God and hearing the voice of God. Um, again, we're not talking about hearing voices, but we're talking about hearing the voice of God because there's a bunch of voices out there right now that's vying for your attention and vying for your devotion uh, from advertisers on down. Um, a lot of people out there expressing their opinions to you. So all these voices, but it's imperative to know the voice of God. And the Bible says, and my sheep will know my voice and no other will they follow. So if you have God as your chief shepherd, if he's your shepherd, you're going to know his voice. And also you'll know as well that God's word is settled in heaven. So anything that you believe God is telling you, uh, he will never go against his word ever. He'll never go against his word. Uh, in other words, he'll never ask you to do an immoral act or go rob a bank or, or uh, anything that goes against his word. He's not going to ask you to do that. And if you hear a voice telling you or suggesting to you to go against anything that's in the word of God or anything immoral or illegal, rest assured that's not God. That's not God. I want to hear the voice of God because I want God to influence my life to the point where I'm totally and completely following him and he's directing me and he's ordering my steps. Again, to do that, I've got to stop. I've got to get somewhere uh, on a daily basis, if not more than once a day, and, and find myself alone with God so I can listen to him. God is speaking. Are you hearing him? Just a thought today. On this, uh, on this Wednesday. Hope you have a great Wednesday. God bless you. Thank you for watching Coffee with the Pastor.